How many hours on design? Um, two months. We work with many yeah. teachers here at Dade County High School and we became aware of their mechatronics lab and so last semester they worked to print us 3D macro invertebrates for our adoptive stream program so I approached Nick Wilson at the beginning of the school year about potentially printing us a 3D lake sturgeon so we can incorporate it with some of our education with our lake sturgeon reintroduction program so people can physically put their hands on what an adult sturgeon would look and feel like versus the baby sturgeon that we have at the Tennessee Aquarium Conservation Institute. Mr. Wilson came to me at the beginning of the year and asked me to uh, lead the team and be the lead designer of this six foot lake sturgeon. At first I didn't know what I was getting into. Now I, now I do. SolidWorks is the 3D CAD program the school uses. It's uh, very complicated to get into at first, but once you kind of get the hang of just sort of the basics, you can just run with it. And I was able to just sit down and explore different tools that I didn't even know existed to be able to manifest this object. That's the easiest way to explain it. Then. Uh, here on our anal fin, I actually One of the biggest of the helps on learning it was just looking at pictures and reading over a bunch of materials I just found online and it was able to help me figure out exactly what I needed and even I was surprised about the information you could find on just the overall dimensions of a sturgeon down to like the Perfect radius of a ski. These two fins and this part of the anal fin gives me The final product is amazing. So I think our uh, education groups and high school students and tours that come out to the conservation student are going to be really excited to not only see the baby juvenile sturgeon that we have as part of our reintroduction program, but also being able to see what they look like because when you tell someone that sturgeon can grow six to eight feet long and live up to 150 years, it's really hard to kind of wrap your mind around what that is where here they can physically see a six foot long sturgeon without having to actually, you know, go out in the wild and find one.